What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another interview on the channel, man. And you guys know who this is. You know, it was the holy trifecta of the Brother Pill podcast. This is one of the original members of it. Me and LAR, Steve the Dean. And you see, got the little light skin face. Hold on. You put the face on again. Look, you see, that's that face where you think you light skin. And look at that. Go ahead, do it again. You doing that face, that light skin face? What? Yeah, he, he, he ain't got no homegirl. But it's my boy, Steve the Dean. Go ahead, Steve. Let everybody know who you are, man. It's Steve the Dean Williams. Uh, uh, not a content creator, but a dating coach. Been doing this for over 30 years. So uh, thank you, O'Shea, for having me on, brother. All right, Steve. Now, you know, we've been doing shows, me and you at LAR, and I'm, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things later on this this year and bring back, because you know, every Christmas year, we bring back the pill. Okay. But um, right now, a lot of black men are, you know, there's kind of like a, a war against the dating coach scene, because the dating coaches are the guys that profess to be dating coaches, um, have kind of dominated, you know, the market. Now, obviously, guys like you, Lucario, you know, ARC, you were the first ones on the market. And um, a lot of guys have come come in, you know, in after that. But then you have these other guys who are like the travel black men, the guys who are going to Brazil, mm. the Dominican Republic, yes. Colombia's of the world, you know, the, the, the Latin American countries. And a lot of those guys are saying that they don't need dating coaches anymore because they can just go overseas and find foreign women who are unlike the American women that are here that are full of feminism. Now, what, what is your response to that? Uh, I, I think I think one of the biggest problems is kind of like what you said at the beginning with everybody's trying to be a dating coach and everybody's being a content creator. We're getting that you have a lot of people that give you theory versus truth. And anybody that says that you can go overseas and the women are gonna treat you different than women uh, in the States is just giving you theory because the question you have to ask yourself, has he been overseas and dated every woman overseas to make that broad statement? That's the first thing you got to ask yourself. Okay. So that's, that's the number one problem right there. See, a lot of people don't understand is weak is weak, no matter what foreign language it is, women can detect weakness. And just because you go overseas doesn't mean that you're not going to wake up in a bathtub with your kidney cut out. You know what I mean? So it's, it's really, it's a dangerous ball game when you're looking or these women coming over to get a green card just to get in the United States. So it's a bigger game out there than just saying you could go over there and meet women overseas because at the end of the day, women can smell weakness. When you say weakness, what do you really, what do you mean? What do you really mean when you say women can smell weakness? Explain what these weaknesses are. Okay. What, what happens is if you look at, if you go all the way back to, you can go to elementary school, but I'll scoot it up to junior high school. You go to junior high school, most of these men today carry the same thing that they carried over in junior high school and through high school. And that is uh, emotional type behaviors that women can figure out. No confidence, uh, scared to talk to women, anxiety, all these things, fear, all these things they had in junior high school that they carried over into high school, that they carried over into uh, life. And women can recognize certain behaviors in a, in a guy, I won't say man, but certain behaviors in a regular guy based on not how much money he makes, not how tall he is, not his body, not his car, not his degree. They're looking beyond that and they're looking at the behavior versus what they see in front of their eyes. So let me ask you this then, because, you know, you said the weaknesses are no confidence, fear, scared to talk to women. Yes. You know, a lot of a lot of these brothers are 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 African-American men. You know, that's what I deal with the, the yes. black community on this channel yes so what a lot of black men are saying is you know well the women in the black community typically don't appreciate you know uh, men who are intelligent you know men who do very well for themselves and you know i'm interested in you know let's say black women from another place could be in africa could be in the caribbean could be you know afro latina women now, when you talk about these sorts of women, they have a more appreciation for a black man who's more intelligent, a black man who's doing better for himself. And when I go over there, they're going to, you know, have a, a better respect for me than, you know, Keisha from down the block, you know, in the black community. What would you say to that? 
I say absolutely not because uh, at the appreciation is the game that they're going to run on the mark that comes into the country thinking that women are stupid enough to think that he's not a mark. First off, that's okay. that's the number one problem. The guy that says, see what a lot of young men don't understand, O'Shea, is what you are. You are what you are, you know, and and it comes from how you feel about yourself. And women can detect that no matter, again, what country they're in. So if you're saying that uh, black women in the States are bad because of all these things, this game has nothing to do with women. It's all about the individual. The individual that complains about the women in the States is going to be the same one that's going to get used on overseas because all the woman's got to do is give them a piece of uh, kitty cat. Uh, I'm not going to cuss. Women got to give a piece of little kitty cat, and then all of a sudden they can run game on them. Don't think for that people are under this impression that just because they're foreign and they don't speak English, that these women don't have game, that they can't run game because most women have more game on their pinky than the average black man. Okay, let me let me talk about this. The game that the dating coaches, you mm. know, and let's let's not talk about the guys. The theory, who are, the theory, the theory, the, the, yeah, theory. the theory. Let's right. talk about guys that you have some, you know, that you would consider legit. We're not talking about everybody, okay? Okay, okay. So, the guy, the game that you are using in teaching, is antiquated. You know, it's uh, it's it, it doesn't really work in today's time. You know, that's why you know it's a rip off, it's a scam. You know, right. paying the money to, to to black, you know, the dating right. coaches. Right. You know, what what do you have to say to that argument? No, I, I I well, see, here's the problem. A lot of a lot of these young men are following theory. They're okay. following theory. They're they're following words like hypergamy. They're following people that say uh, female nature. Go your own way. Uh, any catchphrases, um, any phrase of SYSBM, any catchphrase they can come up with, these guys are following theory. They're not following the game. The game is about you. The game has nothing to do with women. But if you notice a lot of these content creators out here, what are they always complaining about, uh, 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 itching about with a B, uh, complaining, complaining about is women. They're making everything about women. You meet a woman, she's gonna take your money. You meet a woman, and you'll get done in family court. They even they're at a point right now where they're guys telling other men what to do with their thing. You know what I mean? They're telling you right. not to even that. I mean, let's think, let me say it again. A man telling you what to do with you <laughs> again. This is the problem. Is is the theory based guy out here is gonna to cling to the regular guy because if you think about the normal guy. They still got mommy attached in umbilical cord, right? They mm -hmm. yank that out and they try to find someone like mommy in a guy. And that and then they trust the guy that's telling them theory. I mean, it's like they're saying, like, like for instance, all black women are terrible. Stay away from black women. But the question you gotta ask yourself, if you're logical, have you dated every black woman to make that assessment? No, you haven't. But yet, because you're saying it, I'm gonna believe it because a lot of people believe if it's on the internet. It's true, okay, you got that side. But the ones that teach you about yourself, the game, or teach you how to be a man, they're teaching you it's not about the woman. It has everything to do with you as a man, how you see yourself, your self-worth, your value, your laws, rules, codes, principles, narratives, mission statements, and all these other things. That's what a real person teaches you. He doesn't bring up women. He'll bring up women in scenarios, but he's never complaining about women. He's never saying women are out to get you. He's never saying don't get married. He's never saying don't have kids and all this other stuff. It's those that are coming up with theories. Now, if I now you used to watch wrestling, am I correct? You used to watch yes. wrestling, OJ, okay. yes. back in the day. Okay, now write this word down. It's called kayfabe. It's called kayfabe. It's what the wrestlers used to do back in the day. Well, they've always did it since um, Vince McMahon's father took over all the, uh, the the territories and brought them all together, and created the WWF. What, what's happening with a lot of these content creators is they're doing kayfabe. They're pretending to play a role of I'm a dating coach. I'm a man. I know what I'm doing. Don't. But yet they're saying they, all these things, but yet they're complaining about women. Their first thing that comes out of their mouth is women are bad. Women are terrible. Women are this. Women are that. And that's not a real individual. I, I can give you a history lesson on where this thing turned around at. If, if you do your history, if you if, and I always tell people to do their history. But if you do your history, you got to understand in the since 1989, 
Mm-hmm. The men have been living high off the hog, meaning since Ross Jeffries did this thing called speed seduction, okay? And he used NLP. And then that flowed from speed seduction to W dating, which spawned mystery method and styles with the AFCs and the Escalates and the, the Negs and all that other stuff. So all the way up until 2007, O'Shea, men have been living high off the hog because women didn't know there was a community of men teaching other men how to manipulate women in the bed. That was the seduction community era, okay? Now, if you do your research, I think it was August 6, 2007, which changed the whole entire game because at that point, a TV show called The Pickup Artist debuted on VH1. And if people do their homework, they'll see what happened. It wasn't, the women didn't get mad at the fact that the guys were playing uh, manipulative tricks. They started to look beyond that and see that these guys were scared of women. They didn't know how to approach women. And that's when everything turned around. Because if you think about it, O'Shea, you've been around a long time as well. You didn't hear Metal in two, before 2007. You didn't hear about SYS. You didn't hear about going your own way. You didn't hear about the government, family court. You didn't hear about any of that stuff until after 2007 when women started to become the hunters versus the hunted brother. Let me ask you this, because, you know, a lot of guys, well, prior to the coronavirus pandemic, obviously the U.S. passport is not as strong as it was. Most people's passports are not as strong as it was. But prior to that, I was recently in Uganda, as you know, me and you, uh, all, you know, although me and you have very different opinions on almost everything, somehow yeah. we feel good friends. I don't know yeah. why that is. I, I think I feel yeah. sorry for you. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, I was, I was in Uganda for, uh, for like 10 months. Yes. And... And, I, and you've been to Poland once. I'm living in Poland now. Yes. So you know that Americans tend to get a preferential treatment. Yes. Where, where you go. You, you saw that in Poland, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And I, I know that's definitely true to a certain degree. And even Uganda. Uh, yes. you, you People, you know, hear your accent, treat you a little better. Accent, right. Yes. Do you think that black men are saying that the reason why we need to start, we don't need to listen to dating coaches because we can show up to Colombia, we could show up to Brazil, we could show up to the Philippines, because we, Argentina, we have a U.S. passport, <laughs> and that automatically gives us some clout because of the nation that we're from, so we don't have to work as hard, <laughs> and because the women are more beautiful, and I'm an American, that they're, they're going to automatically flock to me because of those two things. What do you have to say about it? Do you think that's the reason why? Yeah, well, it, it, oh, Shay, let's do the math. How much do you think a ticket to uh, a foreign country costs? Depending on where you're going, if it's like you know Dominican Republic, not that like five hundred bucks, maybe. Uh, okay. Brazil, seven, eight hundred thousand, depending. Okay. Right. Was that so? Round trip would be fourteen hundred, right? We say something like that. Okay. Then you want to add a hotel, maybe what thirty dollars a night or something like that, maybe. Down yes. there, thirty dollars a night. So we got uh, you stay a week. That's uh, twenty seven hundred. Nine times nine times thirty is two hundred seventy. So two hundred seventy plus the one fourteen goes. Uh, 1,670, if I'm correct. Just trying to do the math in my head. I'm not like you, smart like you are, but I I, I went to school a little bit. So you're you're doing all, you're spending 1,000 over, over seven, wait, four, it's over $1,600, right? Just for what? 10 to seven minutes of sex? Uh-oh. So, th- I mean, you're, you're spending, now let's look at the balance here. You're spending all that money just to have sex with a woman for no more than 15 minutes at time. I'm being nice right there. Okay. 15, 15, 15 minutes. And okay. getting and and want to live a false lie where the woman is all over you as if you're a rock star. You want to pay for that fantasy instead of look in the mirror and see the truth. So that's why they love that because they, they can go away into a fantasy world, but they always got to come back to reality at the end of the day, man. When you say come back to reality, what is reality? Reality is the fact that a lot of men are scared of women. Reality is they don't know how to talk. Reality is they have no sense of self. Reality is they have no self-worth. Reality is they always blame. The reality is they have emotions like they're they're emotional like their mom. uh, And they just don't know how to get women because, oh, and on top of that, reality is following these content creators that's doing more damage. The, the women are the funny thing about this O'Shea and I, and you know, every once in a while, I, I don't want to feel like I'm propping up uh, black women. But here's the thing: black women are not the problem. It's these these guys are the enemy. The women are not the problem, and that's what the problem thing. A lot of these young men don't understand. 
women don't even think about these guys to be a problem. It's they're not even a thought in their mind to be a problem. The problem is you have a lot of individuals declawing and defanging these young men into thinking that the world is in a perception of what they see it versus what it really is, brother. You know, let me let me ask you this, because, you know, living you, you, you were in Poland for yes. about a week for the 21 convention. And, um, you know, I've never dated here, but I do see that there is, um, a, you know, at least on the exterior, you know, women in Europe, even Africa tend to be a little bit more nice. It, you know, the, the attitude is a more, I mean, cause I'm, I'm talking about, I'm comparing them to black women cause it's a black show, right? Yes. So from the outskirts, it appears that women in, in, in Europe are a little bit more, um, a lot more friendly, a lot more approachable. Um, same thing kind of in Africa. So when brothers are singing like, yo, you know, in, in, in these other countries, their societies have taught them to have a lot more respect for men and be more submissive. Whereas in America, you know, you're dealing with, especially if you're dealing with the black community, a lot of the women are, you know, raised by single moms. And, um, you know, what, and so they, they don't have that, you know, understanding of, you know, maybe knowing the value of, of a man in relationships. A lot of these black men are saying, well, you know, going to the Dominican Republic, it has more of a family infrastructure where, the, you know, the man is seen as leading the family. There's more of a patriarchal system. So the, those women can appreciate a guy that has more manly attributes than a woman who hasn't had that in her life. What would you say to a guy who has that uh, that position? He doesn't have that position. because Okay, this is what I'm trying to say, O'Shea. A man is a man wherever you place him. He's a man if he's on Mars, if he's a man. It doesn't matter where he's at. So again, it goes back to, yeah, she may see all these things overseas and these, these things, but they're going to find out why he's single eventually. Because eventually he's going to have the same thing that have men all over the world have, and that is not a sense of self. They don't know their name. They're not standing on their square. They're not standing by their rules. This See, the problem is, see, everybody, okay, you, you didn't say it, but... The, the, okay, let's say the black woman here that hasn't been raised by mom, what does that got to do with me? Just because she hasn't been raised by mom, but it's the same black woman that will go to the job and treat the manager, the CEO, and the president with respect, even though she has no home training. It's the same thing with a man. See, O'Shea, the problem is, is that we're trying to try to give these guys separation, trying to give them a pass to go overseas. And the problem is, Women can smell cat because mm -hmm. if your kitty cat is tighter than hers, she's going to smell you out no matter where you're at because she's going to see that most of these guys, okay, yeah, you got the education, the nice car, all that other stuff that doesn't make you a man. That's just stuff that you accumulated. They're going to see no experience. He's not putting any flavor in her ear. He's not putting any flavor in her eye. Doesn't make it know how to make her smile, laugh, blush, think, react. It doesn't know how to do all these things. So she is going to remember the guys in her country who displayed the same characteristics as the guy that came overseas and realize that he's a gump or a mark. People don't understand. You know, like uh, the naval bases, because, you know, I'm sure you know about if you go to naval bases. What, what's always around the clubs and naval bases? The women. They're, they're always around right. because they're look because they know this is my ticket out of here. And that's all they're seeing them for is a ticket out. Now they, they don't want to be wives to these guys because they know they're more likely beta males than men. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, let me, let me, let me ask you this, Steve, for those guys, you know, um, that are watching this podcast yes. and would like to get you know, in contact with you or to find out what services that you may offer. What is the man mindset about? The man, see, the, what the man mindset is about is it's about you learning yourself and your name. Every uh, what a lot of men don't understand is that you are the only you in this world. There's nobody out there like you in this world. And the, what we're trying to teach these guys, instead of trying to be the best second person by following somebody or these cults that they've created, is we're showing you how to create your own self. Stand on yourself, and if you stand on yourself, O'Shea. Every woman you meet, 
you're going to judge them off of yourself, not off of a YouTuber that's telling you women are bad. See, that's the problem. If you're in, and a lot of these men don't understand that, but we don't just teach that. We teach you, uh, we teach, we, we out of the box thinking. We tell them our men automatically. First thing we want you to do is go to the store and buy a box of puzzles, a hundred piece puzzle set. Buy a hundred piece puzzle set, O'Shea, uh, dump the puzzles on the table, throw the box away. That's the first lesson a man must learn is how to communicate with himself because the puzzle pieces, most of what people are doing in life, it's just like the puzzle pieces. They're just using the board. They're looking at the picture on the box to put the puzzle together. What we're trying to say is rip the box up and let you put it together. Work inside out, I mean outside in, excuse me. So that's what we're about. We're about showing you how to be your own man, not be a cult, not blame, not complain or whine or moan, but stand on your name. All right. Well, how can I reach you? Uh, just go to the man mindset at uh, G. Uh, or just go to the man mindset, or uh, go to the man mindset at gmail.com to uh, email me, man. All right. Well, guys, you've heard it first here. I hope you guys didn't, didn't like the topic. Make sure you check out the first comment pinned to the top. All my information is there. I'll link Steve's YouTube channel. The man, um, is it still the man mindset radio? Yeah, it? yeah it's, it's, still, it's still the man mindset. And, and also, this whole month, we've got discounts on all of our products. It's like my Scrooge month. So I'm doing discounts on everything. All right, all right. So, guys, as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. Check out everything here. We're out. Peace. <laughs>